Google I.O. has brought tons of interesting features for all Android devices and more information on Android Q. The Pixel 3a and 3a XL have finally been presented and they seem very promising. And Samsung has sent an email to Galaxy Fold customers with options to cancel their purchase. I'm Jaime Rivera, reporting from Google I.O. 2019, probably one of the coolest events I've ever covered. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals. Those of you in the market for smart home speakers, tablets, Amazon currently has a ton of deals where the original Echo is currently just 20 bucks. In addition to other options, depending on what you're looking for, you can find more in the description. Now let's talk about Samsung and their recent email to Galaxy Fold owners where they're like, uh, yeah, you know, uh, the fact that you pre-ordered your device doesn't guarantee your pre-order and you have to confirm by May 31st or it's going to get canceled and there's no confirmation on when you're getting the Fold, but it's, yeah, I know, it drives a lot of insecurities over what the future of this is going to be. They're saying that it's still gonna launch. Obviously, we're looking forward to it and we'll be reporting as soon as we find out more. Now let's talk about Google I.O. Probably one of the most interesting ways to start the presentation is with, with the whole revamp of Nest. The fact that Google Home pretty much doesn't exist anymore, now it's all going to be Nest. Everything under that brand, and during that process we saw the new Google, no wait, it's the Nest Hub Max, which is pretty much a home hub, only on steroids, and that's actually called the Nest Hub now. I'm really looking forward to this product, the price point $229. You can learn more in the description about that as well. And obviously one of the major highlights of the event was the Pixel 3a, Pixel 3a XL. I have my unit here. We have a full hands-on video of all the coverage. Definitely, I was not expecting to be so impressed by this phone, mainly because it is definitely a mid-ranger, but once you see how it performs, you really can't tell the difference between this and a Pixel. Obviously, it leads us to question what will be the future of the regular Pixels. Obviously, if you can get the same experience for a lesser price tag, there are major differences. Let us know in the comments if you like a comparison between this and the regular Pixel. So far, I have to say, I really like this phone. You can learn more about it in our hands-on. And finally, the hottest news today definitely was everything else that was announced at Google I.O., particularly the changes that are coming to the Google Assistant. Oh my God, like the fact that now you require a lot less data to use it, the fact that you can interact with it dynamically. We saw Maps AR, which for everybody that's ever used walking directions in New York City, you'll understand how important this is. We saw major changes in augmented reality, so many things. In today's question, let us know what do you like the most about everything that we saw today at Google I.O. If you haven't seen the keynote, I highly recommend that you do. For me, honestly, it was all the changes in accessibility features for people that can't read or write, being able to use Google Lens, for example. Those things really moved me about this presentation. I liked it a lot. That's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your case. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.